Let's continue looking at practice test one. Question six says a quadrilateral whose diagonals are perpendicular to each other but unequal is a what did you get for this? Alright. For question six, the answer would be A. Alright? Now let's look at what's happening. It would not be B, or first of all, let's examine each. In A, you have a rhombus, all right? Say this, this is my rhombus. Oh. By the way, we, yes. Answer is A, this is my rhombus. And I have a diagonal here and a diagonal here. They will be at 90 degrees to each other. But guess what? This one here is shorter than this one. Alright? So it's definitely a rhombus. Now why is it not a trapezium? Let's say I have my trapezium here. Let's say that this is my trapezium. Alright? Diagonals. I have this diagonal and I have that diagonal. They are unequal, but guess what? The angles between them is not necessarily, well, it's not 90 degrees at all in this case. So, is not a trapezium. Let's say a rectangle. I'm going to have this as my rectangle. Now, as for the diagonals, I have this diagonal and this diagonal. Not as straight as I'd like. But anyway, the angle here is not 90 degrees. Alright? They are not perpendicular and they are equal. The lengths of the diagonals are equal. So that's not it. Square. If it is a square, and by the way, remember the square is a special case of a rectangle. It's just that all the sides are equal in length. Alright? Now, the diagonal. The, uh, my diagonal is just getting out of control here. Let's say this is one of my diagonals. And this is my other diagonal. Now, they are indeed at 90 degrees but guess what they are not unequal they are equal so the only thing that can work here is a that's the only valid answer a all right let's move on question seven if p is 2357 I mean the elements in P are two three five seven Q two three six S is two four five P Q and S are of course set and you know you need to use the curly brackets to enclose the members of a set and separate them by commas. Alright, then what is P Q P intersect Q intersect S? Let's see. Remember, what did you get for the answer? Now remember, the element in the intersection would be those elements that are in P, Q, and S all at the same time. So, let's see. I'm seeing 2, 2, 
two, two, two appears in three of them at the same time. So two is definitely in it. So A is out. All right? A would be valid if there was no element in all three at the same time. I identify two so far. What about three? I see three here and three here, but not in S. So I mean two is in the intersection but not three. Three is out. What about five? I see five in P and five in S, but there's no five in Q, so five is out. What about seven? I see seven in P, there's no seven in Q. Not seven. Seven can't work. I see six in Q, but not in P, so six can't work. Four is in S, but there's no four in P. I don't see any four in Q either. So four is out. So the only thing here that works is the only element in the intersection of all three is two. So it answer is B. So the answer to question seven is B. Alright. Let's look at question eight. Seems as if we have to come all the way over here to identify question eight. Alright. That's question eight. Let's zoom out a bit. Now, question 8, it says, alright, let me zoom it in a bit more. Alright. Which of the following relations is a function? Now, we'll need to know what a function is. Now, in a function, all the elements must point. All the elements in the domain must point to the, an element in the range. And if you cannot have a one to many pointing or mapping, all right, all the elements in the domain must be mapped to an element in the range, at least one element in the range. But not 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 at least one, one, only one. And all the elements, each element in the domain. must be mapped but not to that it must not be a one to many mapping i mean now a function is like a ideal a good election each member in the domain must vote for a candidate in the range and if you vote more than once if you try to do that or it's discovered that you did that you are guilty of election fraud and will be punished for that all right so in a function you cannot vote twice so let's see a c did not vote so in this case a is not a function so A is out. A cannot be the function. Let's see B. A vote once. B vote. No, it can't be B. Because B had committed election fraud. B voted twice. Alright. So it's not B. Let's see C. A voted once B voted once C voted once each voted and voted only once C looks like it what about D A did not vote so it can't be D all right so the answer is C all right the answer is C even though this table you see down here showing seven as B the answer is really C Now, what about question 9? Let's zoom in a bit in question 9. 
question 9 says what property is applied when this 9 over 2 plus 1 over 25 in brackets plus 24 over 25 is written as okay 1 25th plus 24 25th is in bracket this time and you have two ninths is it commutative associative distributed or, or identity which one did you get as the answer here for question 9 question 9 should be B alright associative now let's look at it in question 9 what you have are this and this in the bracket no movement of the numbers took place the only difference is that the second and third are now in the bracket 2 ninth and 1 25th are associated with each other inside the bracket here here 1 25th and 24 25th are associated with each bra with each other inside the bracket it's like business associates having a meeting in a room inside the bracket the brackets are the four the corners of the room so you have the associates having meetings so in this case it's associative why is it not commutative what does commute mean it means to travel if it was a case that let's say you had 2 ninth plus 1 25 plus 24 25 and in the second case you had 1 25th move to the front travel to the front 2 ninth, 2 ninth travel to the middle even though 24 25th didn't travel you had some traveling here this move to the front and this move to the middle then you would have commutation so that would be commutative all right but that's not what happened what about distributive remember that distributive would be for example if you have 1 25th plus 24 25th inside the bracket and 2 9 multiply the bracket then what you would have is 2 9 times 1 25th plus and then you would have 2 9 times 24 25th that would be distributive that's not what happened here all right identity well identity property doesn't apply here all right so in this case it's definitely commutative now let's continue and look at question 10 What's question 10 all about? What did you get for question 10, by the way? For question 10, I believe you should have got D as the answer. But let's look at why D would be the answer. To which of the following sets of numbers does the square root of 25 belong? 5. 20 square root of 25 is 5. Is 5 a prime number? Yes, it is. Because, remember, the prime number, only 1 and itself can divide into it without leaving a remainder. So, 5 is a prime number. Is it negative integer? No. The square root of 25 is positive 5 is it a positive integer yes so 1 and 3 is 1 and 3 only so 1 and 3 applies to it so question 10 the answer is D 
Alright, we'll break <coughs> at question 10 and continue with question 11 next time.